Hello YouTube, my name is James Long and I am a meteorologist and storm tracker with Dynamic Weather Agency. Today we're going to take a look at our storm chase vehicle that I have behind me, which is a 2011 Ford Escape that we've had now for over a year. And this car has been um, probably one of the best chase vehicles I've ever had and I'll show you some of the equipment that we have inside of it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about anything that we're using, uh, please uh, write us down in the comments and I'll try answering all those. I'll also do some product reviews on some of the things in there. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like and some things that uh, we plan on getting for the vehicle in the near future. Uh, along with that, I'll do another video showing you all my camera gear. I'll show you where I put it inside the vehicle. Uh, I just didn't want to put it in this video because it'll just make the video a little bit too long. But I'll do a separate video on that showing you what kind of equipment I use uh, to take videos and pictures of storms. All right, so this is our chase vehicle. Our chase vehicle is a 2011 Ford Escape. Uh, you can see we have the grill lights um, right there. On both sides, we have an off-road light bar down there, a call sign right there. And on both sides of the car, we have our um, company logo, uh, Dynamic Weather Agency. Um, you can see on top, we have an array of antennas. Uh, this one is a 2-meter ham radio antenna. Uh, this one's for another ham radio that's not inside our car. Uh, the one in the very back is a CB antenna for the CB radio we have inside the car. We have two small antennas on both sides of this uh, ham antenna. Uh, one's for a 3G and one's for a 4G cell phone booster. And then this is our Davis Weather Station, uh, which tells us wind speed, uh, wind direction, uh, rainfall rates, uh, temperature, dew points, relative humidity, and barometric pressure. Uh, right here, this antenna is for a uh, scanner. Um, this is the one that we'll have on the inside uh, on the NOAA weather radio. We can also listen to police and fire. Back of the car. And the other side. All right, let's take a look at the driver's side of our vehicle. All right, so sitting in the driver's seat, uh, first thing you can see as we come in, we do have a uh, Sony uh, HD camcorder. It's a CX220, I believe, uh, which is what we're using for uh, dash cam video. Uh, next thing down here, we have a TomTom Tom GPS. It's a five inch unit uh, for navigation. Over here we have a radar detector and some emergency lights that are amber and white. Uh, we use a Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, for a mobile hotspot to connect to our computer to get uh, internet. Back here uh, we have a GoPro Hero 4 Silver for wide angle HD uh, dash shots. And then this is the Logitech uh, 920 webcam uh, that we use for our live stream. This little unit right here is a GPS unit uh, that we could plug into GR and to uh, Spotter Network's uh, client to uh, do uh, reports and just to see uh, where we are relative to the storm on uh, GR. Down here uh, behind the shift knob, we have a uh, Uniden BC355N scanner. Uh, right now it's on the uh, NOAA weather radio. Uh, right here is a 40 channel Cobra uh, CB radio. Uh, the mic is right here and right next to my mic is a Skywarn badge and my press badge for SVL Media. Right here we have a, uh, a three-way uh, DC uh, splitter. Uh, so that way we have an extra cigarette lighter uh, plug-ins and it has a USB plug-in right there. Uh, the laptop is a Lenovo G70 it's a i5 processor of 8 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive and a pretty good graphics card. I forget what graphics card's in it. And on here we run the whole GR suite. Uh, this is GR level three. It's got some place files uh, on here showing uh, spotter, spotter locations and some uh, station plots along with the current radar. See some showers and storms up near Fort Wayne, north of where we are, right, which we are about right here in Howard County. Uh, we use GR. Level 3 and level and GR Earth the mostly while we're chasing. Uh, Earth is pretty nice because we can see current SBC outlooks. Uh, these pink uh, boxes right here are the severe thunderstorm watch uh, for all these counties right over here. And then this uh, outline right here is a current mesoscale discussion. So we can read the discussions and see everything as they come in in real time. And also look at models and current mesoanalysis stuff. 
Uh, we do have WSV3, and like I said, we do have GR2 analysts. Uh, I only use those two if I'm at home for a base uh, kind of thing and when I'm doing uh, case studies. Uh, like I said, we also have uh, our camera up there uh, going into our program S XSplit, which you can see uh, our garage right here uh, being broadcasted on here with the NOP for broadcast symbol, and we have a uh, GR level 3, a little uh, image down there, but we can also uh, put our front facing camera, which is right there, me waving, you can see my hand kind of waving on there a little bit. Uh, we, can ha we can face that right on towards us. The next thing we have inside of the car, we do have our Davis Vantage View weather station, uh, which is which you saw uh, on top of the car, reading all the information, temperature, dew point, relative humidity, uh, barometric pressure, wind speed, and wind direction. And then right here, this is a Beofeng UV5R AX Plus. It's a dual band, two meter ham radio, five watts. Uh, that's the one that I use right now. Now I forgot to mention a few things too. You saw earlier that we had some emergency lights and I did not show you where the switches and stuff are that for. So the one that's in the windshield right up here, uh, this is the switch for that to turn it on and off. Uh, this one right here is for the rear light bar and it's a traffic advisor too so we could uh, switch it so it could be directional to the left and to the right. Uh, this is for the ones in the grill and then down here on the floor, uh, this one right here, this is for the uh, off-road lights that are in the front of the car. Back to the laptop real quick, I forgot to mention that we are using a RAM laptop mount and this is the configuration I would use if I was chasing by myself. Uh, we can also pivot this back for if we have a passenger inside the vehicle too, which is normally another meteorologist or my girlfriend or something like that. So we'll take a look at what it looks like from the passenger side. So as you come over to the passenger side, uh, right here on the floor is our uh, 400 watt uh, power inverter that we use. And you can see some of the bad cable management, but I don't care right now. I just want to make sure everything's all working. Uh, but this is how it looks from over here, and I personally like being on over here. Uh, I can work the radar, I can uh, deal with our stream, or internet problems if we ever have any, and I can always just answer questions and stuff like that while we're doing streaming, uh, right back to people, because I like to be um, more active with uh, our you, with our people who are watching our stream. I like to be more engaging. So behind the driver, we have uh, one of my both my camera bags back here. Uh, this is a whiteboard for other reasons. Uh, down here on the floor is our Wilson uh, 3G uh, cell phone booster that we use uh, to have internet. Make sure we don't lose internet and cell phone coverage while we're out there chasing. Uh, it helps tremendously, but does not you know, totally take care of our problems for some of the rural areas that we go. So this is the back of our chase vehicle. Back here I got my laptop bag. Uh, this is the case for our drone that we use. We got some tripods back here. One of the ones is out there that we're using right now for filming this video. Uh, this is our camera slider, uh, just for cinematic shots. We don't really use that for storm chasing. Uh, we got another tripod head for the slider. Uh, this is a 4G cell phone booster right here. And this is the uh, emergency light bar that you guys saw in the beginning of the, video, uh, of the video. Uh, under here is a secret storage compartment uh, where we have uh, some other gear and I'm going to pull some of this stuff out so we can see. Okay, so let's take a look what's under here. So under here we have some jumper cables and some tools, uh, a ton of first aid gear, and this right here is a CPR pocket mask uh, for um, CPR. So that's what we have under there. And then we have another compartment just right behind that and that's just got our uh, our jack and stuff for our spare tire. So thank you for watching our video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, there's a lot of Chase Day footage on here and more to come. Uh, just trying to transfer everything over from our old channel onto this channel. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be posting. Uh, we got some vlogs on there. Uh, there will be some tutorials on uh, meteorology and stuff like that. Uh, storm chasing. Uh, like I said, if you have any comments or questions about anything that's inside this vehicle, uh, please give us a, uh, please write us down below in the comments. I'll be checking those. And um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just trying to do everything we can to provide good content that's weather based and um, stuff like that. Um, like I said, uh, in our vlogs and some of the other videos that we have, uh, we will be offering services here real soon for our uh, 
private weather consulting uh, business. Uh, we do private and commercial uh, weather service forecasts for people. Uh, we only will have our forecasts offered for um, states in Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio. Uh, those are the three regions that we're going to start off with. Uh, we'll have a regional forecast and uh, the three state-based forecasts, and we'll have private and commercial uh, options for you for all of those. So uh, be sure to check those out. I'll be putting my Twitter and Instagram handles down below, and uh, I'll definitely put a link to the website once it's all up. Uh, so uh, be sure to check that stuff out, and thank you for watching.